Congrats to Bill Burr. Big up Blood Club Bill Burr. Just landed a special on Hulu. Bill Burr landed a special on Hulu. He's leaving Netflix after 20 years. 20 blood clot years on Netflix. Man's jumping ship, heading over to Hulu. Now, I haven't read the article yet, but initial reactions, whoa, whoa, whoa. Because Bill Burr's a Netflix OG. Like I said, he's been there at 20 years. Most of his big specials have been on there. I didn't really see him leaving anytime soon. He just signed a deal for some animation thing that came out. Um, I'm not really too sure what happened, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming most likely, like in all things, most likely he got big time by Netflix. I have a feeling he got big time because I didn't remember that he was on Netflix until this news came out. And I'm a Bilbo fan. I listened to his podcast and I didn't really remember he was still on Netflix. So I'm assuming now that Netflix are wanting to go in another direction, and they're getting a bit, you know, they're getting a little bit... They've now got the Netflix as a joke festival. They're probably trying to prop up new comedians or fresher faces. Yo, big up, big up, big up. Welcome on, AJ Welcome Ranger. to the Agostini Oto Evening Show. We're 690 <laughs> pounds away from ah, goal. Yeah. Venmo, yeah, PP, yeah, yeah, Poo Poo, yeah, yeah, Super yeah, Chats, yeah, Rumble yeah, Runs, yeah. etc. You know how we do it. And we got bits. And we got Twitch bits. Twitch bits are active right now. Twitch bits are active right now. My sh my link for my merch is in the description. If you want to sign up to um, what's that thing called? Um, to my VPN blocker thing, put fucking uh, slash random show at the end. Alright, cool. If you're suffering from mental health issues, go to mentalhealthissue.com forward slash Aggie. <laughs> If you're hungover, if you're hungover, I'm promoting this hunger, this hangover cure. Hangover cure is this Stanley Cup, all right? If you want a hangover cure, it's a Stanley Cup, right? Go to stanley.com forward slash AZ to get 10% off Stanley's. Drink more water, motherfuckers. There's no such thing as a hangover cure. Stop drinking booze, balance it out, or drink more water about hangover cure. Get out of here, man. Absolute snake oil thing. But yeah, there's me. Big up, big up NJ Ranger supporting young black entrepreneurs. You know what I mean? Under undervalued working class, poverty stricken, immigrant blacks. Okay? Big up NJ Ranger, always supporting a cause. You know? I believe you when you put your fist up in the air. When NJ Ranger puts his hand in the air, I don't think he's going how Hitler. I think he's going yes Negroes. That's what I think. Yes, Negroes, not how Hitler. So big up NJ Ranger. I appreciate you, Brad Cut. All right, cool. Let's roll. <laughs> well going Koyla in the chat. What's goody? What's goody? What's goody? Um, let's go. All right, cool. So I was saying about Bill Burr, right? Bill Burr's on a mad thing. He's left. He's jumped to Hulu. Most likely because I think Netflix have different priorities now. And I have a feeling, most likely, Bill Burr sent an email to Netflix like, hey, I want to do this. And they said, whatever. I don't know. I have a feeling. The way Netflix and those companies move, even though he's done so much good work for them, I can see them kind of being like, you know what? You're kind of old news. You're kind of old news. We need this a new guy. There's this like Colombian dude. There's this like there's this like Chinese girl that tells jokes about toes. Do you know what I mean? They're probably gonna push those people first and leave them to the side. So he probably got left on scene. He kind of felt a little bit, you know, hurt. And then Hulu coming in like, oi, Hulu, Hulu coming like, you know what? We want to launch internationally. This is my... And again, I haven't read the article, I promise. I'm just spitballing here because, you know, man's smart. You know what I mean? I passed my GCSEs and that. I got a first job when I was 18. You know, I can balance a checkbook. I know how to pay my bills and auto pay. You know, I'm quite a smart guy. I know when to charge my phone before it dies. You know what I mean? Man's intelligent. So, because I'm really intelligent, <laughs> yeah. I bet you most likely Hulu came up to me like, hey... Bill Burr, boom. Here's what we're saying, yeah? We want you to come on our thing. We're going to launch it worldwide. Still, we're going to launch it. Because right now, you know, Hulu's just a US thing. We're going to launch it worldwide. Cool, boom. You're going to be our mark. You're going to be our flagship guy. Even though you're bare payer when you're ginger and you're bald. And you're mad angry at the world and shit. We're going to have you as our, as our like, leader. You're going to fly the you're gonna fly the flag, the Hulu flag. So we're going to expand in over, over the world. We're going to have you come in and you're going to be our director of comedy. You're going to be Bill Burr, Crave Director of Comedy. You know what I mean? You might even be the C, whatever that acronym is, right? That's what you're going to be. Phil, cool. You come in, you lead a thing. 
you do the thing, and basically, what they want you to do, yeah, is that they want you to be, they want Bill Burr to do exactly what he did at Netflix by the start. <laughs> so in 20 years' time, they can then say to him, fuck off, and get a next person. That's the nature of the beast. But to be serious, I assume Hulu came in with a deal that probably gave him way more um, options to do other things. Probably direct, maybe be the overseeing that person on all specials, uh, maybe have a hand in doing animation more, maybe have a hand in doing maybe some TV shows, maybe have a hand in doing some movies. I feel like he's, he's been given way more of a chance to do that. And also, I'd imagine because he talks about his kids a lot, like Bill Burr's actually, he seems like somebody, one of the rare ones in stand-up, who legit loves his wife and legit enjoys being a dad. But not because, like Brendan, only likes being a dad now because he can't sell tickets. Hey yo, Wagwan, 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 Burp, Wagwan, Burp, Reynolds. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. But right now, what's it called? Brendan only likes being a dad now because all his tickets have gone in it. He can't sell tickets, so now all of a sudden he's he's the dad of the year. But I feel like Bill Burr really likes being a dad. So I think because he's got a wife that he loves and the children that he loves and the family that he adores, I would think. Most likely, Hulu also gave him an option to have like, what's that thing called when you have, um, when you get recurring income from a show you do? What's the word for it? What's the word for it? You guys know what I'm talking about. I bet you they gave him that as well. So maybe he's going to get, because I think Netflix, they only give you one payment. It's a lot, but you only get that one fee. So you film a special, they give you 10 mil and that's it. But whatever they make after, you don't get none of that shit. Royalties, that's it. Thank you, Austin Katie. Love. So... I think he's been given royalties. I think so. Knowing how Bill Burr is, he'd want to have something to pass down to his kids or make, or just to put in their trust fund, put in their college fund, whatever. I think that's probably why he decided to leave Netflix to go to Hulu because he knows it's a big risk because Netflix has all the cachet. They're on fire now. Everything was going in the right direction. Tom Brady Rhodes has kind of reinvigorated Netflix comedy because I haven't really... No one cares about Netflix stand-up really unless it's like Dave Chappelle and thing. But I think the Tom Brady is a roast has kind of rejuvenated them. They're obviously going to sign Kill Tony soon. So it's a it's a weird time to leave. But you'd only leave if the other platform is giving you way more control and then also giving you something on the back end that you can maybe pass down to your kids and shit. And it's not just one-off payment. That's what I think anyway. Let's read the article. Cool. Bill Burr special lands at Hulu as streamer ramps up stand-up comedy push. It says exclusive. Earlier this year... Hulu revealed that it was making a big push into stand-up comedy, um, taking the likes of um, Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. I don't think they have any competition with Amazon Prime Video. I, I can't lie. I don't remember the last time I watched Amazon Prime Video special. I think their main comp is Netflix. If they can be, if they can battle with Netflix, is good. I don't think Amazon Prime is in the conversation. Plus, Amazon Prime Video, the UI, the UX is awful on the site. I don't know if you guys watch The Boys or any other shows on Amazon Prime. The site is terrible to use. It's hard to find things. It's, it's horrendous. It really is. They probably need to make another standard on thing that's different from like Amazon maybe or something, but it's horrible to use. So I don't think a lot of people are using that thing, to be honest. The only thing I like about Amazon Prime Video, when you're watching a TV series or a movie, they've got this little section on the side that lets you see who the actors are in each scene. It shows you their name and shit. And you can basically get up the IMBD. It's quite a cool little feature on the side there. Um, continuing. Disney back streamer has now signed another big uh, name under its roster, Bill Burr. Burr's next comedy special, which was taped in June at the Moore Theatre in Seattle, will hair, will, hair, ugh, will air on Hulu as part of the Hulu's Laughing Now banner. He joins Jim Gaffigan, whose special The Skinny will kick push, um, sorry, will kick off the push on November 22nd. The plan is to have 12 specials across the year with one launching each month. Wow. They don't understand that Hulu is also in talks with other big names um, and is close to other deals. That's actually a really good idea. I don't mind that. One, every, one, one of them dropping every single month is actually a better idea than having them every week or every other day. Give people time to kind of enjoy that one 
and obviously look forward to the other one and then boom 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 Hulu's move comes after Netflix somewhat cornered the stand-up comedy market, paying big money to launch specials from the likes of Chris Rock, Hannah Gatsby, Pete Davidson, Cat Williams, as well as others. Um, da -da -da, it launched the roast of Tom Brady, which aired during Netflix's A Joke Festival and recently announced an upcoming special from controversial podcaster Joe Rogan. Other such... Um, Others, such as Amazon, are also been active in the space, with Jeff Bezos' run company launching a special for the likes of Marlon Wayans and Sam Marill, whose Youth Change special launched earlier this week. Uh, Max recently launched specials from the likes of Hannah Gats, H Hannah, who's that? Hannah, I don't know who that was, and Ramsey Youssef, while Peacock got in the game with specials by Chris Fleming on Hell. Burr's move for Hulu is significant as he's previously released a number of specials on Netflix. He has spent this year touring his Bill Burr live show, having become the first comedian to perform at a 5,000 ancient Roman, ancient Roman sorry, amphitheater in uh, the Odeon of Herodus Inacticus in Athens last year. Wow, what, is that, what does that look like? The Odeon of Herodus Atticus in Athens. What does that look like? That must look amazing. Let's see this venue. Wow. Bill Burr performed there. Shit. Look at that, bro. That is amazing. Holy shit. What a cool venue to perform at. Imagine. Seeing comedy to be fair, I'm not gonna lie, as great as this is, I think having comedy in a in a in an arena like this is a little bit it cheapens it, innit? It cheapens it. Beer and cat fund donation. <laughs> Big up on Sink AC. Big up on Sink AC. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna do a. a, a I'm gonna do an Alex Jones. I'm gonna. Do, I'm gonna do an Alex Jones. If you know, you know. I'm gonna do an Alex Jones of that. <laughs> ah, we're gonna get on that. 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 Don't you wait. We're gonna get on that. Oh, big up, big up, big AJ, man. What a fucking psycho. Just a quickie, I just got to say, right? I think stand-up is kind of wasted in this type of place. It's kind of wasted, isn't it? I think it should only be music. Someone standing there and telling jokes is a little bit lame. If I want to see a play, I want to see an actual orchestra, what I mean, or a band. I don't want to see some guy talking about his annoying wife. <laughs> You know what I mean? I don't know. That's such an amazing venue. But it's so beautiful, isn't it? Imagine that lit. Look at that. Wow, man. Wow, 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 wow. 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 Anyway, going back to the article. Apologies. But also started in Seinfeld, Unfrosted, the Pop-Tart story. I love how... This is how you know comedians are fake. They're so fake. Because allegedly... This film, Unfrosted, the pop tart story, is so shit. Everybody's panning it. They're all saying, everyone's saying it's terrible. But, but Seinfeld got a lot of comedians to work on it. So a lot of them aren't really saying anything about it, but it's got terrible reviews, <laughs> this thing. And they all pretend like they didn't do it. Even though they all did it for the clout of being associated with Seinfeld, now that it's gone wrong, everyone's like, Everyone's pretending like they didn't do it. It's like, come on, bro. You were in that show. You were in that show. Come on. Anyway, continuing on. I'm surprised to learn, though, allegedly, this is coming out in March. That's the wild thing about it. He filmed this in June. And allegedly, according to Bill Burnley's podcast, he's editing it now. And it's coming out in March. Wild, isn't it? You don't usually get this kind of lead up time for a special. Yeah, March next year. Yeah, March next year. Which is, I think, a good thing. I think it's a good thing. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like that now. I want these comedians to take their time with their specials. Please. Most of these guys aren't that good anyway. Save your material. Like, practice it. Hone it. Get it tight. And then go into the editing process and actually be lethal. Because I bet you, similar to, like, me. Similar to me and, like, my... Similar to me with my clips. Which is a bad example. I find it really hard to edit my clips when, on my stream because I don't enjoy watching myself. Like, it's just lame to be like... That's why I probably don't have, like, a TikTok to, like, promo. Like, it's just bizarre to be sitting there and, like, adding... I don't know. It makes me want to bath. But I've noticed just taking a straight clip, a section from what I've spoken about on stream, 
and re-uploading it with no edits doesn't bang the same because the things I've spoken about on stream or sometimes the things I've said, jokes I've made, observations I've made, maybe can hit when you're live, but doesn't necessarily hit when you watch it later. So I think that must be the same with comedy. There must be some jokes or some little things that you say on stage that work, but then when you go and you record it and you watch it again, you're like, you know what? For the viewing audience, let's cut that out. So I don't mind that. I don't want to see like a like for like stage show. I don't mind having a separation. I don't mind you giving me like a polished version of what your stand-up is like on stream via a streaming platform. And then when I watch it, I'm like, oh, sick, this guy's funny. I didn't want to buy a ticket to see you live. Do you, do you understand? It's like a musician. You you see them performing a song online, maybe not the whole set, but the song is good enough that makes you want to buy a ticket. So I quite like that he's taking his time and spending between now until March, editing it, getting it tight, and then pushing it out. That's, I'm not too fussed with. Obviously, it's Bill Burr. He's one of the best comedians out, but his previous specials haven't been hitting the same, but I still think this is a good approach. I hope this becomes a trend so we don't hear these comedians trying to drop every year because some of these guys have nothing to say usually when you're forcing them to do it every year because of money and it just becomes a bit watered down. So I like this approach. Hopefully he sticks with it.